We're looking at function decompositions. So this is when we are given basically the end result of a composition and want to find the f of x and g of x that created this composition. Um, so in this case, what we want to do is figure out what is the inside function that's going to be our g of x, and then when I take that out and replace it with x, what would our f of x be? So I want you to really think about what is f of g of x. That would be taking one function and putting it inside another. Now we're doing the opposite of that. So what we want to look at with number one is we have given f of g of x equals absolute value of x plus 3, find f of x equals and g of x equals. We need to remember that with f of g of x, the g is going into the f function. So something inside would be your g, and the outside function would be your f of x. In this case, our inside function would be x plus 3. Okay, So if I was to take this x plus 3 out and replace that with just an x there, I would have the absolute value of x and that would be my f of x function. How do we check this? Well, if you have f of g of x, and you have said that this is f and this is g, if you were to take this g and plug it into that x right there, would you get back the f of g of x function? And in this case, you would. So then you've picked the correct f and g. Okay, let's look at one a little more difficult. Number two, given f of g of x is 1 over x squared, find f of x and g of x. Now this one's a little harder because there's just not a lot there, number one. And number two, um, trying to figure out what could be the inside when there's not really an inside is a little difficult. So a lot of times... Um, the things in a rational expression that in, are in the denominator are often the g of x, or inside function. So if you think about, um, if you've seen function transformations, we also talked about this being the inside with rational functions for moving things left and right. Well, that was kind of a similar thing here. Okay, so g of x, let's say that that's the denominator x squared. If I was to take that x squared out, and just replace it with x, I would have 1 over x. So if we go backwards and compose this, if we put x squared where that x is, we get back our f of g of x. All right, let's look at another one, a little more complicated. So now we're given that f of g of x is 5 times x minus 1 all squared, plus 6 times x minus 1, plus 7, and we still need to find f of x and g of x. So again, the inside function would likely be inside parentheses or inside absolute value or inside the square root. So here, this inside, notice these are the same and it should be the same if it's going inside because you're taking the same function and putting it in. So this inside x minus one becomes our g of x. This part's a little trickier though. So if I take this out and replace it with x, what do I have? I have 5x squared, and then I have plus 6x, and then I have plus 7. So I want you to think about this. If I take x minus 1 and put it there and there, do I get back the original? And you do. Okay? And then our last one is probably the trickiest because there's actually two answers for this one. So let's just consider what I said just a minute ago, which is everything under the square root. So if I say that g of x is everything under the square root, or under the radical here, I would have x cubed plus 7. So if I take all of this out, I just have square root of x. Just replace that with an x. So I have square root of x. And that would be true. Okay, this is actually one answer and it does work. So if I take all of this and put it right there where that x is, I do generate f of g of x as square root of x cubed plus 7. However, there is another answer that would also work. So if I chose g of x as x cubed, then if I just replace that part with x, I would have square root of x plus 7, and that is also correct. So 
either of these works, either of these are the correct answer. So this is called function decomposition. It's breaking it down after they've already composed it together.